Hey guys, it's me again. Um, who knows, I may be in focus, I may not. Uh, playing around with the flip. Been busy. This has been a crazy year. Actually did a ton of different stuff and really haven't been posting as many videos as I should. But this will kind of give you a quick, I guess I'm going to do kind of a year-end catch-up if I can. Um, we'll see how this turns out and we'll go from there. Um, maybe have to switch to the other camera so I can actually see myself. Anyway, so this year I did quite a few projects. I mean, one of them that I don't think I showed you guys was this. What this is, and I'll try and get the whole thing in, I'll back up a little. This is my airbrush spray booth. Um, I used to have a larger booth, which was kind of problematic in that it took up literally too much space. So I ended up building a smaller one, and I'm going to go ahead and pull some of the models off of it that I've been working on. Got some towel bits and pieces that I've been working on. Alright, get you out of there. And the last few. Oops. I need to find a home for some of this stuff. But this is my spray booth. So what I did is I took some foam core and built a frame that attaches. So it's just a just a basic wooden frame. I screwed together using some scraps and then I used foam core for the actual hood itself. Nice thing with using the foam core for the hood itself is if I ever need to change it out, make a bigger one, what have you, as it gets dirty I can just make another. The big pieces of this one though are the box. The box is just that. It's just a box that I built. I mean it's just nothing spectacular, a little box. Um, I sized this one for a 10 by 20 inch filter so it's a little bit larger and you notice there's a slight lip right there. That's what that frame, what the other frame sits into to keep everything down. And if we pull it out, you can see that it's just, I mean, it's just a standard filter. You know, I like the ones who actually with the with the little wire mesh reinforcing them because it gives you a little bit more, gives you a little more stability than the than the saggy foam ones. Um, but what I did, so I've got a couple of battens in to hold to hold down the um, to hold down the filter, and then I grab. Oops, I've got stacks of these, uh, a couple of old computer fans. I've got tons of. Just cut some holes, put them into the box. Went ahead and ran another one of those wonderful 12 volt wall work power supplies. Got stacks and stacks of these. And I'll go ahead and plug this one in. Come down here so you're ready. You get to see what's all on my floor as I go to plug this thing in. Turn on my turn on. So we turn it on and you can see that the fans run. Got a couple of fans. I mean this one I didn't put in a separate on-off switch. I've been turning it on and off from the from the little AC um, power strip. Move a fairly decent amount of air. Um, this is not, I repeat, not designed for solvent based paints. But it's just for for my airbrush ones. And you can see if I stop put just give you an example. I mean that's actually Pulls a fairly decent amount of air, so they don't worry about, you know, it's enough to get the overspray and stuff down, but it's not so much as to, as to suck out heavy stuff. Um, what I've actually been doing with it, and I'll put this, put the hood back in, there is, I mean, a decent amount of air being sucked down into it, but what I can also do with it, because of the shape of it, if I really want to improve the airflow, if I need a heavier airflow, I'm just going to use two pieces of paper, but I can actually choke down the spacing on it. So as I choke down the spacing, I get more air, more air flowing through. So with it in the hood, works out reasonably well. It gives me a, gives me a good, good spray. You can actually see where I was spraying some blue one day on this particular filter and you can see it. So that's that and it's basically just set it up. Fire up the airbrush and go. So that's kind of one project. Who knows? I may may do another video where I go deeper into it. Other stuff I've been working on. Um, this is one I was just Hobby Lobby had foam core on sale, and me, like anyone else, I love a sale. So, oops, see if I can get that light to stay. There we go. 
So what I ended up doing is well, playing around and building a bolter. <laughs> um, this one I just sprayed this morning, so I'm still not done with it. Um, it's still it's still got a few more hours to dry before I can go on to the next step. Um, that's kind of a prototype piece. It turned out not that it's not that bad. Um, I'm seeing spots where I've got to go through where paint's still thin, so as you can tell, it's still it's still not in the finished states. Um, this one, what I started off with, like I said, was foam core because they had it on sale, and then I actually covered it with um, with a paper tape, and then gessoed that. And what I'm finding out is that maybe I shouldn't have done the shouldn't have done the tape. I should have just gone with either a paper mache. Although I started with paper mache and I wasn't getting the finish that I wanted and it was taking too long, so I went to the tape. <coughs> Excuse me. But now I'm finding out that neither of the <coughs> kill over on you guys. Neither of those is really working out. I mean, it's a fairly big piece. I mean, the whole thing overall length is about is just under two feet long. So. Try and back up a little. Move headphones out of the way. Uh, but yeah. So that's really it. I mean, it's it's kind of a neat little neat little conversation piece. Once I get it finished, once I get finished painting it, we'll see how it turns out. Um, then there's another project I was working on. No, it's not a big dome. It is Space Marine shoulder pad. Um, this one was kind of the prototype I found, a uh, paper model of one, so I wanted to build one out of paper first so I can get the shape and everything right, and then I'm going to probably go back and redo, use this as my template for building one out of foam, because what I want to do is basically do it as kind of a wall piece. So it would be something where, you know, you'll hang it on the wall and it'll have the insignia of whatever army you want to do on it. So I'm probably going to be producing quite a few of those. Um, I've already got a couple of friends that are like, ooh, that is cool, I've got to get one. So that's going to be another thing that I'm going to try and have done, um, hopefully by the end of February. I mean, my goal is to have a bolt pistol or a bolt gun done and the shoulder pad done for Adepticon so I can bring them with, with me to Adepticon to show some people up close. Who knows, maybe and get some orders from them. All depends on how things go. Then the last little thing, this was me playing around one night. <laughs> Because I did the bolt gun, or excuse me, the full bolter, which is the big one. But then I figured, eh, why not? Let's do a bolt pistol. I had foam left over, so or foam core left over. So this is the start of a bolt pistol. Uh, I still have to do the handle. I'm trying to decide on if I want to use, if I want to go with the just the basic square handle like I did on the other one, or if I want to do um, a little bit more serious handle. I haven't put the magazine in it yet, and that I'm actually going to leave removable. Um, Tried something different on this one and you can see where I I think I dropped it already. Yeah, I did already. I already dented that. Darn it. I hate it when that happens. It's one downside of working with foam core, it dents easily. Um, but what I'm gonna do with this one as opposed to covering the entire piece, this one I just covered the edge seams. Um, with um, in this case I went with foil tape because it's easier to work with than the paper tape. And I know that when I hit it with paint, it blends in really well. Um, so, just doing that one, and who knows? Maybe I'll finish that one up this, finish that one up tonight or something. But those are just a few of the projects that you guys hadn't got to see. Um, I am still here, still working on stuff. So, as I get closer, as I get stuff closer to finish, or as milestones hit, I'll let you guys know. All right, guys, have a good one. Enjoy your year.